hello and welcome in today's tutorial uh, I will let you know how we can set up a Windows 10 based machine as in kiosk mode you might be aware of the kiosk that those are special machines placed on at bank reception or at hotel reception or at the malls reception and uh, help you to achieve some of your needs and answers you a few questions like if you want to get an invoice or need a ticket you get that from the kiosk or if you are looking for a map of the mall where the shop is you will use the kiosk and you can get that information from the kiosk so windows 10 provide this facility uh, uh, with its uh, latest update and now you can set up windows 10 as in kiosk mode just want to let you know that uh, uh, with windows 10 in kiosk mode all you need all you can configure is basically windows 10 apps not the other apps as of now but that will be uh, available in next releases so to set up uh, windows 10 in kiosk mode click on the start menu and then go to settings and then click on accounts here you have some options click on family and other users as you can see it has option set up a kiosk and click on assign access and then click get started name the kiosk like reception kiosk and then click next and now it will fetch the list of applications that are already installed on the computer so you can select any of the application so in my case what I'm going to do is I am just uh, allowing users to uh, have access to the internet and browse the internet from the reception PC so I'll select in that case I'll select Microsoft Edge that's a web browser comes with Windows 10 and then click next and now it asks me as a digital sign or interactive display or a public browser so how we want to show this kiosk to be like in the it's specific to this scenario when we are going to set up browser so we we can display our website continuously on the kiosk or we can allow it as a public browser so what our intentions was to uh, set up that edge browser so that the kiosk at reception will help the visitors to access the internet to get their emails and do a different a lot of stuff related to internet so that's why we are going to select it as a public browser and then I'll click next and then it asks me enter a URL which will be used as a home page so in that case we can specify the company's email address sorry the company's URL that is in our case AIDSolutions.com and restart Microsoft Edge after someone has not used it and we'll make it never so what will happen at the kiosk machine Microsoft Edge will keep running and uh, uh, it, uh, the website AID solution will be available and that will continually continuously running on the on the kiosk on the edge browser but if someone wants to access uh, any, any other website he'll be able to do that and then I'll click next and now it's all set you can see that it has created a new user it's called reception kiosk and the, uh, the application we are using for reception kiosk is Microsoft Edge Kiosk mode mode has been set up so let's see how it works now you need to press Control alt Dell and you, you will have option to switch user click on switch user and now you can see there are few users and the recent user we have created a reception kiosk click on it and then click on sign in and see it has started Microsoft Edge browser with 
the website that we have already set up as a default website that is AIITSolutions.com and you can see that uh, it's running and we have options to open new tabs so that we can have access to uh, other websites and we can, we can use them and you can see that the only option is end this session there is no other option we cannot we do not have uh, my uh, start menu here or any other option we cannot minimize microsoft edge so this pc is absolutely working as, as an kiosk we have configured windows 10 in kiosk mode and once you are done using this kiosk click on end session and click yes and now what it will do is it will clear all of the sessions and open a fresh session and the important thing that you should understand that uh, if you might be concerned about uh, the privacy and all that it's running in in private mode that is uh, in chrome's uh, language in cognito mode so it's not going to save a, any history any url history or the browser history or the cache history or the cookies and all that it's not going to save any of that information so you are good because Microsoft uh, in kiosk mode understand Windows 10 understand that you are uh, the privacy how the privacy is and how that should be handled in kiosk mode thank you and I would like to share I would request you to share this uh, with your friends and uh, please do subscribe our channel thank you